past week was all about offense on the gridiron. I had plenty of offensive plays to choose from for this week's plays of the week. So let's unveil the Labor Day edition of my favorite segment. And we begin as always with number five, Legacy and Minot Soccer. TJ Seidel lofting a beautiful free kick past the diving keeper, and it ended up as a consolation prize as Minot went on to win big. Number four on my list, Fargo South at Mandan Football. Running back Kafo Lahai gets the carry, bounces outside, and then turns on the Jets, outrunning everyone 73 yards to momentarily quiet the Mandan crowd. More from this game later. Number three, Minot State Soccer. Sophia Lewis centering for Haley Berryman, who puts a gorgeous touch on the ball with her back to the keeper for a goal. Worth seeing it again in slow motion. That is one heck of a touch on a ball coming in hot, and to score off it is just awesome. Minot State went on to black, beat Black Hill State 6-0. Number two, we go back to Mandan and Fargo South. Sibomana Enoch comes down with this catch in double coverage against the Braves. Enoch's got to hear the footsteps of Van Dan's safety there, but he somehow maintains concentration to bring it down. And that would lead to a Bruins touchdown right after, but it's Mandan who wins 28-25. And my top play this week comes from Duluth versus Minot State football. The pitch goes to Wade Sullivan, and he is going to shed more than a couple Beaver tacklers before going off to the races. He'll catch a couple blocks late to finish off a 70-yard scoring play. It's a great run at the Beavers' expense, of course, as the Bulldogs route them 49-3. And those are your plays of the week.